So we're going to take a look at here is how to use NashPy to uh, numerically solve the replicator dynamics equations. So we have these two imports that we've done before, and we're also going to import matplotlib. Um, and we're using the very conventional way of importing matplotlib's pyplot as plt, mainly because we want to be able to see what we do. Um, so here I'm going to create the whole dove game as we've we've done be before, and I've I've got the game there. And what I'm going to do is generate my generations. And so my generations are going to be game, replicator, replicator, dynamics, if I could spell it out. And I can just go plot the plot my generations. And that doesn't give us something very interesting. <laughs> that is because uh, the replicator dynamics by default uh, gives us an initial population of um, uh, a uniform distribution of the population. And we know in the Hawke Dove game that a 50-50 population is stable. So we can change that, uh, why not? And let's change that to say 0.2 and 0.8. If we look at our generations, we see that, yep, start at 0.8 and 0.2, and they, they go through. We could do more stuff from Matplotlib to draw this. Uh, everything we have really is just that the numerical equations have been solved and generations has given us the population at every generation. Um, we can also solve the replicator mutation dynamics equation by going Nash dot, um, uh, oh, let me start off by creating myself a, 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 a mutation matrix. So we'll say that if you are a sharing individual, you stay a sharing individual. If you're an aggressive one, there's a 10% chance you become a sharing one. And now what I can do is create my new generations, again, using the replicator dynamics, but by starting with my mutation matrix being given by Q. And now if I plot these generations, we see that we go from the 50-50 and go off to another thing that looks slightly stable under the replicator mutation dynamics equation. So the general way to use replicator dynamics is uh, to call the replicator dynamics method on the game object. You can change the initial population if you want to, and you can pass a mutation matrix if you want to.